hey y'all welcome back to the vlog so i know i am looking a whole mess right now and you know what's going on with my hair i literally just like pulled out some ponytails and put it up because i was sitting here chilling um it's literally the day after the surgery i'm still at home doctor told me i should wait for about two to three days before i go back to work or anything so my jobs were nice enough to let me off but i was sitting here um, just living my best life and you know knock on the door and it's the um, mail the USPS with a package and I think this might be they had left me a notice like maybe a week or two ago about a package that they couldn't deliver and deep down I was like man I bet that, that that's the target um, uh, gift thing for the registry and I was like man I'm gonna have to get this package um, I really I really don't know how I feel about it but actually it wasn't the target package it's actually the don't look at my address y'all it's actually the baby list package which I mean kind of has the same effect because they're both baby things and I'm kind of at a place where I don't know if I should open it or should I wait until we do get pregnant again but then it's also like why would I wait until we get pregnant again to open it because we still want to get pregnant again you know we still want to have a baby we still want to do all this so it kind of feels silly to to wait but I don't know y'all I'm just I'm finally getting to the point where I can talk about it. I'm finally, you know, I finally told my family. I finally, um, I'm, I'm ready to start announcing it publicly. I mean, by this point, I've already announced it. But, you know, this video is going to be not posted for a minute because I just now posted the We're Pregnant video. But anyway, um, I'm finally getting to the point where I'm okay talking about it so i'm like is this gonna trigger me or um you know man don't look at my mess in the back y'all it's just i got a lot going on um so but i think that like with making the videos and talking to people about it i think that this is also a part of my process and i think that i'm going to open it and yeah and I think I'm just gonna open it and I'm going to take this stuff out and I'm gonna enjoy that moment and I'm gonna save the stuff put it away just like I did I got the um, baby box stuff the like the day after we found out that I lost the baby so um, I'm just gonna put it to the side and then and, and you know wait until I can use it because the thing isn't that we don't want to have any more babies the thing isn't that we're not going to we want to and you know um lord willing we definitely will so i'm like it's time to get back into the into the shake and groove of things you know so yeah i'm gonna open it i'm gonna open it um let me grab my little tripod and we can all open it together Hopefully the battery doesn't die in the middle of it. I feel th I think there's another battery on the charger. I just <laughs> I literally just picked up the camera and was like, oh. <laughs> but you know, and it's also to encourage you all who have been through a loss, and then um, it it's really it really kind of sucks when you go through a loss, and then right after things start happening, like things start arriving that you have bought before you lost the baby, or you know, people ask you how's the baby and all this stuff and then you kind of have to relive that moment you have kind of have to relive that loss for a moment and it's hard but i feel like it's a part of the process of healing i feel like you know um i'm not gonna not talk about my baby or my babies at this point because i don't i don't that it just feels like saying that they don't exist or that they didn't exist but they did so um in order for me to heal and get ready for our next children who um prayerfully will be you know here with us then it's time to it's time to take off the kid gloves i guess so y'all really don't talk about me i don't know what i'm wearing i don't know i literally just like rolled out of bed i've been lounging all day after this surgery 
Let me get some better lighting for you. So I just threw some clothes on to answer the door. Okay, y'all. Let's let's open this thing. Oh, this is cute little baby list backing. Oh my gosh, this is precious. Parenthood is a trip. We're thrilled to take the ride with you. Oh my gosh, y'all. And it, it sucks because I feel like this was supposed to be... I was so excited when I ordered the box because I was like, you know, this is going to be um, this great moment. We're going to unbox it and share that moment with you all and share it with each other. And it's going to be a joyous occasion. We're going to be putting the stuff up for the baby. And I feel like... Part of me kind of feels like that moment was taken from me now because it's like I could wait but then I don't know or I could do another unboxing of it after we do get pregnant and you know get far into the pregnancy but that just it's just silly Ugh. anyway y'all let's let's open this thing because I'm gonna talk myself out of it <laughs> I am dressed like a crazy person. Let me at least take the robe off. You got the wrapping in there. Y'all can't see, can you? I got this wrapping in here. Okay, so we've got a baby registry guide. <sighs> Nano babe coupons and a passy. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is so bittersweet. Diapers from Huggies. Oh. oh, it's the design it yourself. Oh. Blank little onesie. Registry cards. I already have some of those. A bib. Oh, it looks like a little miniature diaper bag from Pampers. Breastfeeding samples. A passy pouch. Newborn hair and body wash and lotion. Wipes, breast milk storage bags, and then some coupons from different retailers they're partnered with. Wow, y'all. This. <laughs> Let me put this stuff up. I am not going to lie to you all, this is hard, and it is, it's 
it's really hard. And <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. But this is important because right now it might be painful, it might hurt, um, but eventually, probably not right now, I'm going to put this stuff up and I'm going to get the nursery back together and I'm going to prepare because I have faith and I believe that this will be happening for us and that we'll be able to put all that stuff to use. And maybe it wasn't for the first two babies, but I have to keep believing y'all because I just, I just know that God, that God will make a way, that he can make a way, that his promises are yes and amen and I just have to hold out for him and you know maybe this wasn't the promise that I wanted maybe it, it didn't well not that but maybe it didn't happen the way that I wanted it to but it will happen and that is something that I'm confident in and I wanted to let you all join me in this process because it may be bittersweet it may be painful at times but it is a part of the process and I do believe that it is going to be a part of the testimony you know so and I also want to encourage again those of you that are going through a loss or have been through a loss just keep on pushing do everything in your own timing a couple weeks ago I was I would not have been ready to open that box it came right at a time where it was kind of important for me to do it and it was a lot I don't want to say easier, but you know, a couple weeks ago I probably would have thrown it out the window and crawled in my bed and not wanted to get out. But you know, now I thank God that I was strong enough to be able to open it and you know, I feel okay. I feel like I am going to be okay and I want to encourage you all that you are going to be okay too. This has been extremely painful. extremely painful but I am getting through it you can get through it just keep holding on if you give up now you will never meet that miracle child you will never see the miracle come to pass you will never see what God is doing come to pass and that's what I have to keep reminding myself you know whenever I get too upset or whenever I feel like giving up or or letting go I have to remind myself that you know my babies may have died but I didn't and I and that was obviously for a reason and I need to keep pushing and I need to hold out so that their siblings their brothers and sisters can be brought to life and so that they can um, live and, and live blessed lives and and just be a blessing so I have to keep pushing I have to keep going and um yeah this <laughs> i really hope that this wasn't a trigger for anybody um yeah it's never my intention but especially this time around me and daryl are working on being a lot more open and transparent about these things because at the end of the day this will be a testimony you know we'll look back at this and think if only we knew if only we had known um and I want you all to be a part of it whenever whenever we do finally get pregnant and it well not finally get pregnant but whenever we get pregnant and get through the pregnancy and have a live birth I want everybody to know why we are crying and screaming and praising God and I want you all to join in that process with us I want all of us to be crying and, and screaming and praising God and just thanking him for the miracle that he is working and that he has worked so anyway, y'all, I'm going to stop jibber-jabbering. It's time for me to go. I'm going to go rest a little bit, get my mind off of things. Um, just remember, y'all, God is good all the time and all the time. God is good no matter what you're going through, no matter how you're feeling, um, no matter what situation you're in. God is there. He is with you. And he is moving mountains that you couldn't even imagine. He is making moves that you can't, even, you don't even realize yet. So, um, 
you all just have a wonderful blessed and wonderful day and don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that bell button follow us on our journey be there when our testimony is finally uh, revealed and our miracle is finally revealed and brought to life um, <laughs> okay y'all gotta go gotta get out of here gotta go rest <laughs> um, thanks for watching y'all have a great day bye